Okay, so now that we have been moved in for about two weeks, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I decided to organize the RV. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so we did the Bettys, which is pretty much the same as the last video, which have been really nice. I'm working on getting wallpaper. It's very tricky to do in these little tiny beds. I still want to get some curtains, but I'm going to wait till after we finish the wallpaper. So we did a shoe rack on the back of the door. Uh, I had to find one that would fit under that little slot, and I got this one from Walmart. We have bins in here, so we've got pajamas and bathing suits in here. And then Eden hangs her nightgown there until she's ready. And then we have all of our toys in here. And then down here, this is where I'm keeping all the wallpaper until I get that situated. And this drawer is all of their daily clothes. I don't know why that's in there. Um, so I have them rolled up in outfits and then their underwear and socks are in the back. Then we've got more toys here. There's bins for all the different toys. And there are safes, um, there are iPads and headphones, and then we've got some movies. Under this one is Nerf guns and other bigger toys. And then over here are the clothes that we are not wearing. So whether it's winter clothes or summer clothes, and then we have that warm fan there because it's pretty chilly. And then this is Gavin's bunk, also with the Bettys. I just have the boys lay their pajamas on the bed for till we're ready for the night. So that is the bunk room. Okay, we are in our bedroom. We also have the Bettys, which I love. We have our laundry chute down here. And I've got my air purifier. So this is my side. I was able to hang a couple of jackets, <laughs> bras that you don't want to see. And then these are like my daily clothes, pants, workout pants, and then just shirts that I wear when I'm not doing anything special. And then I have jewelry in these little bins, um, but there's still a lot of room up there. I can put stuff underneath our bed. Ugh. We've got winter clothes, our air mattress for the bed out there, some extra shoes, um, and that sort of stuff. And then we have our shoe rack here on the back of the door, missing some shoes. And then in our closet here, we've got towels, purses, extra stuff up there, and then hats and socks, pajamas, swimsuits, which basically I need to put away, and then my little daily sweatshirts that I wear with my workout clothes. A couple of dresses are hung up here in that spare space, and the other side's Adam's. And then Adam's closet, he hung up some clothes, which he could have more room if he slid that over. And then he's got underwear and workout clothes, I guess. And then basically not using any of this stuff. <laughs> um, and he needs to organize his side a little better, folks. But that is the bedroom. I don't have really any extra pillows because I find that annoying. There's not a lot of room in here to put them at night so we don't trip over them while we get up to go to the bathroom. So. We keep it pretty basic, but this is the bedroom. All right, here we are in the tiny bedroom. These things from Target smell so good ever spring. And they're like, um, I don't want to say non-toxic, but it's like, I think they're made with essential oils. So anyway, keep all my skincare in this basket, which is Velcroed to the top. So when we move, I don't need to put it away. And then our toothbrushes, toothpaste go there. All my makeup is in here and then down here, which there's not really any way to organize this between the blow dryers and all that stuff. So 
all the hair stuff is just kind of thrown in there. And then I keep our extra um, hand towels and baby wipes and a couple of cleaning supplies. And that is a leak alarm to make sure we don't get any leaks under there. In our shower, we have this shower caddy and then we also have those shelves. But when on moving day, we throw everything into the shower caddy and it doesn't go anywhere while we're driving. Then over here, next to the toilet, I have this little cabinet. We keep extra toilet paper and then the feminine supplies and it has a little toilet paper thingy in there. And then everyone with kids or even without kids needs baby wipes for sure. Um, we went, we had these Turkish towels, which are really thin and they dry super fast and they don't take up a ton of room. So we have them hanging on the back of the door and we really enjoy those. In here we have supplements that we need when we're sick. These are like daily vitamins and supplements. Um, and then this is all of our daily stuff like hairspray, glasses, contacts, lotion. And then this is all of our extra stuff, which that goes down here. This is all of our extra stuff, like extra shampoo, razors, um, that sort of thing. And then all of our bug sprays and things like that are in quick reach for when we go outside and need it. So that is the bathroom. Okay, and then last but not least, I will show you any updates I've made to the storage in the main area. So, kind of keep all of our extra bars and things up here, bags of chips, all my smoothie stuff is here, and then baking stuff. And then down here is just more food items and then kids snacks are down here, adult snacks are over here, and then down there is where we store like extra drinks and just other random stuff. Over here we've got like our tin foil and Ziploc bags, the um, blenders back there and these are all of our spices so I can take them down when I'm cooking. And then these are all the plates that we use. So we've got serving bowls and then we use Corel. I don't like eating on paper plates all the time, so I like to have real plates. All of our cookie, larger cooking utensils I keep in that little guy. Let's see. Down here is the Instant Pot and then you can't really see back there, but um, my glass Pyrex pan and then down here cleaning supplies, extra paper towels, all that good stuff. We have a nice big drawer under the oven. So that's where pots and pans, baking sheets, um, that sort of stuff goes. And this is where we keep our trash can. And I got this little thing right next to the sink to hold a dish towel. And then down here, that's where we keep like our dish cleaning stuff and it's hard to see down there but um let me turn on this little light so that's under the sink this is an over the sink dish drying um mat so if i have too many dishes to fit in my regular dish drying thing which is this it's collapsible silicone and it squishes down and then when I don't need it I just stick it under the sink so that's helpful let's see our drawers this is where we keep like all of the velcro and hanging hooks and all that then we've got card games and other things we want to keep safe from Gavin and other little family games this is where I keep extra dish towels and plastic silverware that's our regular silverware drawer these are very shallow um, so you can't put a ton of stuff in there but um junk drawer batteries candles scissors that kind of stuff and then this is all like random um, 
um, cooking kitchen utensils. Then up here we have all of our stainless steel cups and water bottles. Then we have paper cups in here and straws. And then I'm dying to do a little charcuterie night for me and Adam. So I brought some of these um, to have. And then this is like a random pantry. Vitamins, coffee, extra gum. And these are water bottle holders so that the kids stop whining when we're on a hike about holding their water bottles. Fridge. Um, down here is actually for a pet that we don't have. I think we could take out this black thing if we wanted um, to use it for other stuff, but we honestly got really good in storage over here, so don't really need it. Um, we put all of the kids. This is my drawer for homeschool stuff. All my extra books. So we've got um, paints and crayons, all the manipulatives, and then in the back there's another one with some other stuff. And then this is their drawer. They each have a box. It's really deep. It goes back there. We have a treasure box, and then back there are their binders where I keep all of their finished work um, for their portfolio. So that's how we store all of our homeschool stuff. And yeah, the only thing I really have left to get is some sort of, I want to put some sort of basket thing right here to store our blankets because the couch is totally backed up against the wall. There's not really, nothing really to do with the blankets. So I want to shove them in a basket over here. And then I still need some pictures for right here. And then I think we're done. Oh, and one more thing I want. We did um, get this little rack on Amazon. And then we have this to shove papers in. Um, I want to get some sort of little shelf thing for right here to put um, shoes in and then to set my purse on top of. And then this vacuum obviously does not we vacuum a lot, but the vacuum does not stay out all the time. So that's the, the tour, the updated tour, um, with more of our organization in place. Adam picked out these pretty little fake flowers from the dollar spot. He got some of those and those at Target, so I thought that was sweet. But yeah, that is the tour.